welcome back to the realist channel on youtube it's another reaction opinion preview whatever on another big fight in the influencer crossover scene between jake paul and nate diaz now i expect jake to win this fight i expect jake to win the fight fairly easy to be honest because i don't think nate's gonna have the speed to deal with jake now timing does beat speed we know this timing can beat speed but i don't think nate's gonna have the timing to to get the better of jake you know um jake's been looking good in training he normally does to be fair he's working with shane mosley again you know the, the spirit seems good in the camp from what we can see obviously we only see what people want us to see but reading the energy it looks like a good vibe he looks like he's he's still enjoying the game the defeat to tommy didn't uh put him put him down if anything has probably made him work harder and make some changes that are required um for him to continue to progress and that was even picking someone he previously worked with so good on him for doing that and reading the room and giving himself the best opportunity to keep leveling up as a fighter he's coming off a loss to tommy fury there was no shame at all in that defeat you know again he dared to be great he didn't say no one's expecting him to beat tommy anyway that's what i'm saying tommy is taking advantage of Mandem's ego and bullying people as i keep saying because it is true and these guys are stepping up to the plate and they're dedicating themselves to try and knock him off that pedestal and jake it was very close the fight was close to me i don't it wasn't a landslide victory in tommy's favor it was nothing for jake to be um sour about per se it's just a thing where and if i make a couple changes i can push you more and I, I believe i can beat you i just just wasn't my day so nate diaz is a good opponent for him to still practice still get some things off under the lights that he's been working on in the gym and just continue his journey towards becoming a more complete um boxer you know we've seen him knock out guys um that are naturally smaller or naturally have at their in their primes fought at a smaller weight so you know he's put some guys to sleep he hit tommy with some good shots he looked like he was affecting tommy but not he didn't look as powerful as when he was obviously fighting people that have blown up to that weight um but it was a good it was a good fight i think against nate I can't see it being a long fight. I can't see it being a long fight. I think it'll be done within four rounds. I think it'll be done within four rounds. I think Jake will start quite slow. Just try to get a look at him, read him and stuff. But I don't know if Nate has the ability as a fighter to to keep sharp, to keep that sharpness off him. This is not a young fighter, and it's not a fighter who isn't battle worn as well. Nate Diaz is battle worn. He's a legend. He's a legend. MMA legend ufc hall of fame if he's not in it he should be um because his contributions to the game his personality the the rivalries he's been in he's obviously his skill as well he's got good boxing for an mma fighter but for a boxing match i don't know if he's generating enough power in the punches he likes to slap a lot he doesn't really get a lot of torque on the shots um i know he's got no fear of of jake I know he i don't think he fares much um so he's gonna fight in his best manner and he's gonna be as confident as he can be but i don't know man i just think the youth i think the the, the power i think jake's gonna clock him with something a bit early and even if he doesn't then there might be a little nudge there might be a little something that causes a cut even if it's a punch something that causes a cut because he does have bad scar tissue and then it might get messy from there um but hopefully it is a bit of a back and forth you know we always want to see people tested we want to see um people overcome adversity and it only makes you stronger anyway as his plans are to have a rematch with tommy fury his plans are to have a rematch with tommy fury so this is a nice fight for him to just you know cool man i've got my confidence back i've used some skills i felt good i had a full camp with my new team now let's go attack tommy again tommy's got his own thing going on as we know with jj so jake's fight with tommy is dependent 
on what happens with JJ. Because if JJ smokes Tommy, then I don't think there's going to be a rematch with Jake and Tommy. Not straight away, not for a while. It won't make sense. So a lot of things are just riding on the back. And that's where the pressure comes from. That's where the pressure comes from, where there's a knock-on effect, direct knock-on effect. Um, so both guys will feel pressure, Jake and JJ will feel pressure in their upcoming fights because there's things riding on the back of it. Nate's going to feel no pressure at all. The bare minimum, he gets paid really well. He's part of a big event and yeah, he, I know he will do the best he can do, but he's not really got anything to lose um in this fight and that sometimes is a dangerous man but sometimes it's a man that doesn't want to dig deep sometimes it's a man that doesn't care about how the fight really goes you know he hasn't been too interested in promoting the fight you know there's a there's a balance i'm always saying it last balance and nate's all the way over here where he don't really care too tough like he don't care at all um and that might be very dangerous it might make him a killer or it might make for a demotivated performance when things are not going his way we shall see it's only a few days away so we shall see what um is in store there but yeah besides that there's not really much else to say on that fight uh the upset for me would be nate winning nate beats jake what does jake do he's gonna have to cool off for a bit he's gonna have to cool off for a bit he could do an immediate rematch then he's got a pending rematch then jj you know he's got options but it's not good for the brand and it's not good for the uh for the ops to see put it that way so yeah there's pressure on jake to to win this one and that's why these guys are where they are because they normally deliver under pressure and operate under it so that is my initial thoughts my prediction just to finalize and finish off is jake within four rounds that's my final prediction jake wins within four rounds i hope you enjoyed the video people make sure you check the description click the link in the description it will take you to everything else on the channel soon i'll be putting a qr code right in this corner here so you can just scan that and then again follow me on other platforms and socials i should have a fight date to announce soon we've been waiting we've been waiting and I think we're nearly there. So I'll be able to share that with you soon. And you know we're pushing for the English title. So keep tabs on that. It's the end of the video. If you don't know what I do at the end of the video.